Who says the preseason means nothing? Here are three training camp battles to monitor closely as the summer unfolds. First and foremost, let's go down to Flowery Branch. What running back is going to come out smelling like a rose to the Atlanta Falcons? Well, we got three prime candidates. Number one, Devontae Freeman, who is sits atop the catbird seat right now for the Falcons uh, as we enter training camp and the preseason. Uh, he right now is the pace setter overall, but he's got a strong challenger in Tevin Coleman, the flashy rookie from Indiana, who averaged 7.54 yards per carry, and nearly 170 total yards per game for the Hoosiers last year. This is a guy that fits Kyle Shanahan's zone blocking scheme to AT and also has a reliable hands out of the backfield. Those two are really going to duke it out with Anton Smith also involved in the mix. My prediction, Tevin Coleman will establish himself as the 60% back in what I believe will be a 60-40 timeshare between him and Freeman come week one. Moving on to Detroit as we have Joyke Bell versus Amir Abdullah and also little Theo Riddick peppered in. Now, Joyke Bell currently is on the pup list, which has really opened the door of opportunity for the rookie out of Nebraska. Amir Abdullah is a great, versatile running back who I think he could establish himself potentially as a three-down workhorse out of the gate. Uh, despite his pint size, he's got great pad level, a deceptive power, reliable hands. Don't be at all surprised if he gets 15 plus touches come week one. Bell, meanwhile, should establish himself once healthy as the early down and also the goal line back with Theo Riddick operating in the Reggie Bush role. Finally, we can't forget about Big D. That has been the central subject in fantasy land for much of the offseason. Who's going to carry the rock for the Dallas Cowboys but, uh, behind potentially one of the best offensive lines in NFL history? Now, right now, Joseph Randall is the clear-cut front runner. Jerry Jones has come out and said it is his job to lose. Now, the expectations are, according to local beat writers there, he could get upwards of 15 touches per game. Darren McFadden right now already hurt. Shocker. A guy dealing with a hamstring injury currently on the pup list. We don't know when he was going to return. And Lance Dunbar is more of a change of pace back. Now, there is an X factor here. Cowboys, if they are unimpressed with Randall's performance and exhibition play, could kick the tires on a Chris Johnson or potentially a Ray Rice, a couple of veterans who are rumored to have been in contact with the boys here the last couple of weeks. So my prediction right now, Randall will be the guy. A little rich for my blood at his round three, round four ADP. But if he establishes himself here in preseason play, he's got potential to be a top 20 back for fantasy purposes. For more hot fantasy takes, log on to fantasysports.yahoo.com.